welcome to another episode of the EUL Colors of the Rainbow. As you know, we try to, what we try to do here in our programs is to interview various uh, university students and introduce various different types of activities that take part here at the European University of Lefkia. And as we also express the point that we have students coming from 38 different countries from around the world, which makes our campus very multicultural and very international. And today I have with me three beautiful young ladies from Kazakhstan and we are going to talk about what they did this academic year, what kind of activities that they have accomplished, what kind of tasks that they have accomplished and what their future goals are. Welcome ladies, thank you very much for being with me today and sharing this uh, special episode. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce to my audience, our audience, who you are and where you're from and which program you are. So Mika, can we start with you please? Um, hello everybody, uh, my name is Miriat, my full name, yeah. For students, for my friends, and for everyone here, I'm we Mika. all call her Mika. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Kazakhstan. City is Almaty. Uh, it's actually kind of south capital of our yeah, country. Um, I'm a second year student here. Um, I'm studying in banking and finance department. And what else? I think that's okay. Nice. All right, and um, and you've been here for uh, the second year now, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you very much, and Zeta. How about you? Can we let, get to know who you are? <laughs> my name is Zeta. I'm from Kazakhstan, Almaty City too. It's my first year. It, my department is business administration, mm -hmm. and I won in the talent show mm -hmm. with India performance. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. And Tansulu, let's get to know you um, as well. Hello, my name is Tansulu. I'm from Kazakhstan and also like this course, I'm, uh, I live in Almaty. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first semester, first year. Uh, now I'm studying in preparatory school, Eud. Um, that's it. Okay. All right. Thank you, ladies. Um, let's talk about your summer plans, first of all. Um, now we've entered, as we entered June, um, you are in your final exams, I do believe. I hope your f exams are going well. Um, what do you plan on doing this summer? Meriwet, let's start with you. Mm. Any special plans for the summer? Uh, no, no special plans for this summer. I'm going to just have holidays. Just holidays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's the best plan, yeah. to be honest with you, because after a full academic year, a nice holiday is always nice. How about you, Zeta? Any special plans? Yes, maybe I want traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know where, because it will be a surprise for me. Okay. Present from parents. Ah, well, yeah. lovely. That's nice. <laughs> so uh, it'll be nice for you to, to take Thank a holiday you. with your family. That's lovely. And how about you, Tansulu? Any pr uh, plans for the summer? Uh, no, I don't have special plans, but I want to spend all my time with my parents, with my family. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you miss. This is a special uh, part about studying abroad. Uh, we understand the quality and we understand the absence of our parents so once we do go back and um, we we like to spend lots of time with our family our friends especially our parents okay let's talk about a little bit about your short-term plans um, what do you plan on doing in the in the near future when I say near future I mean like in the next few years like what do you do you have any goals of what you want to set out in your life for the next few years, when I say few years, three, four years. Tansulu, let's start with you this time. Um, I want to finish it, this university, after I want to do an MC. Okay. And uh, that's all, really, for so these few years. Okay, yeah. for the next few years, you only want to concentrate on your studies and yeah. maybe do a postgraduate degree as well, yes? Yeah. Okay, and how about you, Zeta? Uh, I want to uh, finish my education okay then maybe I want continue learn some language ah you want to learn different languages yes, okay so you want to add more languages yes. to your book very good very good very good how about you Mika I am graduating next year mm -hmm. inshallah yeah, in this university yes so I have some special plans for this university some kind of events 
Okay. Yeah. So let me it surprise. <laughs> okay, okay, very uh, good. So that's it. Maybe after that, we'll, uh, I will go for work, maybe for half of a year. Okay. And then maybe continue with MBA. With Let's MBA. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So basically, we all have different plans and programs for ourselves, mainly education for the next few years. And um, that's very good. Um, next, I would like to ask what your long-term future plans are. For example, when you close your eyes and think about yourself in the next 10 years, how do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Zere, let's start with you this time. How do you see, what, when you close your eyes and you picture yourself 10 years from now, what do you see? What do you, what do you want to see, shall we say? Uh, I won't be famous with <laughs> Indian oh, okay. movies, yes, with Indian uh, culture. Okay. I want uh, s maybe do some musical, dance musical. I'm all, yes. Maybe. Why India? Because it's my hobby uh, since childhood. I like India culture, really? Indian movies, yes. Have you been to India before? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so maybe you can close your eyes and picture yourself in India 10 years from now. How's that? Mm, I want to open my uh, maybe dance club. Okay. Oh, lovely. Yes. Okay. I want to do some musical, maybe work choreograph mm -hmm. choreography and mm -hmm. I want to choose something with Indian movies. I don't know what. <laughs> Very good. And Mika, how about you? How do you see yourself 10 years down the road? Oh, to be honest, when I just close my eyes, I see myself just laying down, you know, next to the beach. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, you know, I have, I have not planned anything for future yet, like for after 10 years yet okay. from now. Okay. So I think that I'm going to work some, not somewhere, I'm going to open some business for myself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm a financer in the future. Okay. So yeah. being in the program of banking and finance, you definitely see yourself in the area of finance. Yeah. Um, actually, I cannot see myself in office, you know, sitting and working. I ah, will I do see. something, yeah, some events, yeah, yes. something like that, because you know that, yeah, I love organizing. Yes, of stuff, course. Yeah. Of course, we always see this in all of yeah, your activities. But I have, no, no, I don't have any special plans for future. Okay. Yet, yeah. Very well. And Tansulu, how about you? Me too, I don't have special plans, but I want to be a uh, successful, famous woman, business mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And I want to be, when people open the Forbes, the first page, uh, they saw my uh, photo. Okay. So like a famous <laughs> business woman. And okay. that's it. That's good. That's good. Um, now I would like to continue on with what you did this academic year on campus. Um, we had a very active year. We, were, we all managed to get together and celebrate all different kinds of events and organizations, which was well done. I do like to congratulate all of you for this. Um, and I would like to talk about the things that you did this academic year. Now, Mika, let's, I'd like to start with you um, about your fashion club and also your Russian speaking club. Let's talk, let's talk about this, how it started and how it developed and how did it finalize for this semester? Um, so, you know, everything started from questions, questions mm -hmm. from students, you know, uh, like, um, teach me Russian, yeah, you know that, yeah, Turkish people really love, yeah, that learning Russian language. Okay. So, it started from that, and um, we just thought about it, we, we got permission, Nas Hanum was helping me, yes. uh, yeah, ab about everything, so we just got permission and we opened club. Okay. Uh, like Russian club. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now we cancelled it for this year. Right. But for yeah, but for next year we are going to continue that. About fashion club, it was uh, just kind of hobby for me. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. Uh, yeah, I am doing modeling, so it is uh, you know it's interesting for me to teach girls how to be how to be a model. Yeah, about cat walking, about you know putting makeup on mm -hmm. on their face. Uh, so everything. Right. You know, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't, but in a fashion club, you don't necessarily have to be a model. You can be just, you know, a standard everyday uh, young lady yes. who would like to learn how to dress and how to walk 
and how to put makeup on. Is this what it's all about? To be a girl, actually, you know. Okay, to be a female. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, very well, very well. That's nice. That's nice. And um, and this year you actually won a very special award. Um, as you remember, we had about a month ago, we had the awards night, um, yeah. which was de organized by one of our uh, Nigerian students. And it was a graduating project for him, and it was a very well organized event. And you that night won uh, most uh, well dressed female yeah. of the European University of Lefka. I would like to congratulate you, Thank you. <laughs> and um, introduce to our audience your award of the year, uh, which is a very very well established, a, a very well accomplished, I should say, award, and uh, and I hope for the best, and I hope to see you at uh, very active again uh, for these events for the next academic year. Okay, and Zeta, now I'd like to continue with you. Um, there was another fashion and um, most talent talent night, I do believe, and you did a very good show, and you surprised everybody that night. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, let's talk about it. I mean, what inspired you uh, to do such an, uh, a dance show for that night? Uh, my friend danced okay. with me mm -hmm. from Pakistan and Kyrgyzstan. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's a very big thank you for okay. everybody because I'm very shy <laughs> and they nervous you. about that. Yes, uh, it's my, it was my dream. Dance okay. with uh, people who from Pakistan or in this India. India, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because I think in that people in the blood, uh, they understand how he can dance. Uh, he can listen some mm -hmm. sound from music, mm -hmm. can mm, see some uh, moves and right. understand me. Okay. Uh, and. It, it was not difficult for me uh -huh. because uh, the people understand me okay. what I want. Right. Yes. Right. Well, that's very important, actually. Yes. When you're actually doing something um, with a group of people, it's very important that you um, understand and communicate very well um, what you want and how you want it done. Um, you know, different kinds of events and organizations and, and things like this, it, it's very important. And I believe that um, it's a very good way of learning how to communicate as well. Um, so congratulations once Thank again, you. and I wish you continued success. Uh, you're a wonderful dancer, and we would like to see more of your dances for the next years okay. to come. And Tansulu, let's uh, continue on with you. You were chosen most fashionable young lady of the European University of Lefke. Uh, what inspired you to join the event that night? Can you tell us about it a little bit? Um, on the first, I heard about this competition. Okay. Uh, I don't want to join. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really. Uh, but my friends uh, say you have to join because it's. Uh, um, because we have monotone life and it's an uh, amazing time in okay. your life. You have okay. to join and uh, when I joined, when I won, I was happy really. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for the all of girls who helped me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, really, it was an amazing time and uh, I think it is an uh, amazing memory for all my life. Yes, of course, events like this always add color. You know, because we always say, we always specify that university of life is not just about academics. It's about learning, it's about experiencing, it's about doing different cultures and going different yeah. places and so on and so forth. And these are the type of things that you will carry on for the rest of your life. So yes, you are right, you know, you have to join these types of events because if you don't, then you will regret it for the future of your life because yeah. there are specific things that you can do at specific times. Obviously, when you graduate and you go off to your career, you can't very well join, a, let's say, for example, a fashion club, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe you can, but, yeah. you know, like do a, a dance or, a, you know, like it, it's, it's certain things in your life are much more valued at certain times. So it's always good to join these types of activities. And also, I, I know that you joined the, the Strawberry uh, Beauty Pageant as well at the Strawberry Festival. Yeah. How did that? Tell us about that experience as well, please. Um, um, also, it was perfect time, amazing time. Uh, uh, 
I want to uh, say uh, very thanks for the good could be. Okay. Um, um, I like it all off. Uh, the first day we are taking photo, photo mm -hmm. we're doing photo shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, after s three days we have we had a rehearsal week, uh, uh, rehearsal days. Mm -hmm. And after um, uh, the first when uh, the festival opened, I mm -hmm. saw President of Cyprus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important uh, time in my life, really, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. face to face. That's nice. <laughs> and I take mm -hmm. a photo with him. Mm -hmm. uh, and after the Sunday, it's a competition uh, about the Miss Strawberry Girls. Yes. Uh, uh, I didn't win, but I, I wish I'm very happy who win, really, for the girls. Right. Uh, and I wish all the best for these girls, and that's all. Okay, well, you know, it's not about winning in mm -hmm. these types of competitions all the time. I mean, obviously, it's a part of the game. You yeah, know, like it's yeah. a part mm -hmm. of, you know, winning. Um, but the whole process um, and the whole, actually, participation is not just about winning. Mika, you know this, right? You know, you get to learn, you get to meet new people, you get new experiences, and so on and so forth. So, uh, well done. You know, yeah. um, because the Strawberry Festival is a festival that takes place, one of the festivals that take place in, in very close area to the university. And every year we have this festival and there's a beauty pageant. And it's lovely to see that our international students are actually joining the pageant as well. So it's a very good activity for, for you and um, very rewarding and uh, something, an experience that you will never forget for the rest of yeah. your life. Exactly. Now, um, we have to wrap things up. Uh, we don't have much time left for the program. Um, but I would just like to say a few things about the um, the Independence Day. Now, as you may recall, we had a very nice Kazakhstan Independence Day mm -hmm. last year. And we are going to be doing it again next year because this is what we do as the international student body. We like to introduce our uh, traditions and cultures and special days to our international friends and also to our teachers and even sometimes to the uh, Cyprus community. So um, do you have anything special that you are planning on doing for next event? in your mind maybe or you know like what you wish to do I mean if do you have any thoughts maybe for the next one coming up Mika um, I do not have any special you know things to do in this Independence Day uh, this year mm -hmm. because as you know that I don't like performing something yeah I don't like dancing or I don't know doing anything you know, on the stage and performing it for people, really, I don't like, I love organizing, yeah. Right. I will help in organizations, <laughs> yeah, but yes. no, this okay. year, no, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to concentrate more on the organization than anything yeah. else. Well, that's where it all starts, Mika, so you <laughs> are still going to be the main person, one of the main people. You see, this is what happens, ladies. I mean, you have to realize that your characters and your traits and what you are good at actually shapes you. You know, some people are the ones who help organize because that's the way you are, that's your character, and that's what you're good at. Some people like to be inside the actual, you know, event, would like to dance, fashion show, and everything. And some people don't like to do anything. They just like to sit down and they like to watch, you know? so. Everybody's different, but no matter what it is, ladies, you have to understand that um, it is very important to take part in these types of events. And I would like to congratulate each and every one of you Thank for you. your accomplishments. And I would like to wish you best of luck in your studies. And I would like to send all our regards from Cyprus to Kazakhstan this summer to your families through us uh, and, uh, and hope to see you soon in September. Okay, thank, thank you very much. much for joining today. And yes, you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of the Colors of the Rainbow of EUL. Thank you for joining us and hope to see you soon again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.